Hey everyone, I'm Keychain. Um, this is going to be Darklands Live. And one thing I wanted to start, um, I want to start a push to try and get to 2,000 subs. So right now we're at 1,878. Uh, so if you are watching this and you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Okay, so I'm going to get the chat up so that I can view I'm that. There's my echo, so I know my sound works. Okay, so let's get into Darklands. Got a couple of people starting to show up. Welcome. Unity and speed. Playing against mom. And let's go take a look. Up here. He showed up. So one of their guys, I don't remember which one it was, is like three point something billion. So it's going to be kind of rough. Um, and I don't know if we're going to win, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Let me increase my March cap. All right, so now we're just playing the waiting game, <clears throat> letting people get online. And if you're here, you know, pop into chat, say something so I can give you a shout out. I did want to mention, um, if you guys aren't familiar with Discord or if you have Discord and you're not in some of uh, the Guns of Glory channels, there's the official Guns of Glory Discord server. And then there's lots of other like special ones. Um, I'm in another one called um, Bandcamp. So GOG Bandcamp. And that's not banned like flutes and stuff. It's banned like B-A-N-N-E-D. So um, I'll have a link for that, both of those discords in the description. But the Bandcamp one is uh, it's pretty fun. It's a lot of the same people from the main discord, but, um, you know, less posting rules and stuff. All right, so we got a minute and 45 seconds till we kick this off. Welcome, Lost. How you doing? So I'll try not to get mad this time, but actually I don't really care if we lose Darklands. Um, I'll show you the if I can find the store. Well, I can't find the store right now, but I've already bought everything that I can for this round and I still have like 17,000 of the uh, the essence so I think I could buy just about everything else I needed hey Anna welcome I hope we do too but I'm I'm honestly pretty worried that you know maybe they don't have stats but when somebody has 3.2 billion power they tend to have a lot of troops or are just an all-around spender and have both. Uh, and when that happens, I'm usually outstatted pretty good when they have that many um, or that much power. So my normal spot is I poured in somewhere around here, and then I go to the top zone first. So that's my plan for now. And we'll see pretty early on how the stats are going to be and if we're going to need vampires to win or not. Um, we've had pretty bad matchups in here before where you know like i um, i have 120k stat and we'll fight somebody that has like 25k so now that we're getting ready to start i'm gonna use all of my buffs get them all used up teleport out here Okay, Chalice for the first one. Let's see what kind of stats they got. So they've got people porting in here, and see this guy, 3.6, 3.16 billion. Plus they have a 1.8 billion, and I didn't check the guy next to me. And I got 
Well, I didn't get absolutely wrecked. So I've got them on stats, it looks like. But there's more of them. So I'm going to have to send another march. And things are going to get pretty tricky. If I lose this march too, I'm going to have a hard time. Um, okay, so now I need to add troops to this. And then I'm going to have to heal. So let's take a look at that battle report. Looks like some pretty decent kills in here. And I've got a lot of points already. So I'm already on the board for 9,000 points. Not too bad. So while they don't have anything going into there, I need to quickly switch gear, heal, and get back out of my healing gear. And then I need to start looking at the map to see what else is happening. So north, looks like it's popping off. So I'm going to go there. Um, we've got west. East is vacant. There's people heading there. I don't have enough cavalry to fill right now because I use them all. So I'll send distance. They've got people porting onto the map, whereas we don't really. So that's going to be a little tricky. My distance stats are not good, so I don't like having to send distance. Okay, so I lost... Jeez, Vero just sent two marches. They've got high distance stats. I have so many troops dying right now, I don't have any freaking troops left already. So at least this one's going to be action-packed, but I don't want to spend a ton of gold. That's going to be the uh, the problem. So this person over here is another 3 billion. So they have two 3 billion power players. Um, they're going to have way more troops than me, and they're already showing it. They are smacking me down, and I can't do anything about it. Is this guy another... And another two billion. So we're hard, very outmatched here. Um, and I'm already out of tier twelves. So we are absolutely going to lose this. I think it is what it is. I don't know who's in the middle right now, but hey, Gilby. Yeah, good luck on yours. Um, mine's going to be a hard battle. Um, Especially since I am already troop poor. If we maintain these five, it'll be great. Um, I don't even have enough troops to really reinforce this. I'm out of all of my tier 12s already. They're all dead. So unless I want to spend gold, I'm going to have to wait. What? five or six minutes so to heal these and then i'll start another set of healing uh, but for now i'm just gonna chill i guess i could send some scouts and see what's happening at these other spots but they've got two three billions a two billion another two billion like this is guns of glory matchmaking at its finest So this guy, her, 2.0, 3.0, whatever, he's got a bunch of big accounts. Um, so it's him and his farms. Vero is strong, so even though they're reinforcing with junk, I would have to be careful with that. Tend. I fought Tend somewhere down here. So Tend, if I was sending my main march, I could beat... But my main march is in a spot that doesn't actually matter very much right now. So I should probably call that back. We'll let someone else have that, and I will put some distance in there to back it up. And then I don't know, what do I want? What do I even want to attack? Uh, 
let's see the scout report. So we're up to nine people watching. Pretty good for a random Friday morning uh, Darklands. Yeah, they just have... All of these people have bigger marches than me, too. This is just crazy. So <laughs> look at how close this is right now. 39,000 to 40,000. And they are winning because of troop kills. So I'm already almost capped out on points. I'm not currently in any towers or anything. Um, I should probably fix that, but I still don't have many troops. I should take over the middle. Let's do it with my secondary march. So I'll take over the middle, so we'll have that for the whole time. Is it full? It's full with a tiny march. Well, I can't do anything about that for now. I will try and get in there when I can. Tend, like all of these spots are already just packed. Like I can't attack into three billion or three million troops without a mega. And I don't know that I want to waste the gold right now because we are going to start winning this. We're just going to have to defend. So I need to watch red lines, see what's happening. One point eight billion. So he's got a main account, a three point oh account, and a two point oh account, and they're all like two billion. That's crazy. Zephyr, not very big. They've got some people back here staying in the zone. But right now I'm not doing much. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, um, I can definitely try and answer those. So we're almost to the point where we can speed heal some troops. I think. As long as we're holding the center, like we're still good. And I don't actually need to get it into any of these. What is the max points? Max points is 23K. So if I attack something, I'm pretty much guaranteed to get my max points. If I'm going to rally something, I think I want to rally this. So let's see. I want some more infantry. There we go. It's Chalice. And let's run this Mega and see how we do. So I've got some communication going. People are trying to share zones and stuff like that. It's pretty good. So right now, if we held these five, we're going to win. Um, I thought that we would not be able to win. But maybe the answer is just going to be to do a bunch of megas, spend some gold, and just kill tons of troops. Because um, that's going to get us a lot of points. And until the first vampire happens, um, you know we're pretty evenly matched. Looks like they're going to mega the center from this account, which someone is going to have to get out of there. I don't know who to send out. I'm going to look for someone to send out. He's got artillery in here. So I'm probably going to send him out. And I'm going to get in here and I'm going to take over the center. I think I need to do that. Oh, that was bad. So they took it over. I didn't realize that they had a one that their mega rally was that fast. Well, I saved Urhan's troops and then I just wasted a march, which I can't afford to be doing right now. So get some troops back, but I've got more troops 
in the center that I can afford to heal over the match already. Even with the full training set and training jumps. I don't have the chalice, do I? Okay, so... Another mega. Um, wow, we're up to 15 people. Hey, Vindicus, welcome. So we right now, they're going to get it occupied, which means we're going to have to reoccupy from them. They're mega garrisoning. So that's what I was trying to do for ours. I was just too slow. I had the plan. I was just too slow. So that's going to be a problem. Um, what I might have to do is just wait for the vampire. And we'll... Who's Mega? Is someone else Mega? Okay, so we stole that one. Huge mega here. So we smash that. So that's pretty good. And how many points did that get me? I'm up to my 23k. So we got like 4,000 points from that. Who sent cavalry? Whatever. So this is not going to be a very good mega. We're going to lose this. Um, uh, so my distance stats are terrible. That's the problem with them putting distance in... The Mega Rally is I'm using Cavalry Guards, and I have Cavalry Stats. I needed Cavalry and Infantry. I'm not going to argue right now in it, but um, we're going to lose this Mega, and I'm going to have to send another. I'm actually going to call back from here so that I can send in a March right after it in case it's weak enough. If we lose badly, I won't be able to solo it. Hey, John Emery, thank you for um, thank you for coming and stopping by. I appreciate the support. I'm doing a push for uh, 2K subs, so if any of you are not subscribers, um, I would appreciate the subscribe. We are like 120 people away. Yeah, so we lost this mega pretty bad. I knew that was going to happen because people didn't listen. Oh, I also didn't realize they have a 12k troop attack stat. Well, let's see what happens. Lost another march, not even close. Okay, well, we are definitely going to have to concentrate on this next vampire. Um, where is the vampire? Oops, wrong button. I'm looking on the map. I need to go to the vampire. Why can't I see him? There it is. So since I have no marches out, this is what I should be doing. And here I don't even send the marches. Like, I'm just trying to get marches in as fast as I can. Like, sending my preset marches it doesn't do much. 
We're just trying to get as much damage as we can and be as close as we can. Yeah, it's not a good mega when people don't listen. Um, I've always had that problem. So the threat's dead. Did we win? We won it. Okay, so now, now I can teleport back over here. It's going to cost money. Ugh, I don't want to spend money. So now we've got better stats, but I still don't have troops. Chalice. Let's get some more cavalry. Some more is distance. So I'm actually going to be checking this. Marksmen or distance, aren't they? Who in the hell is sending cavalry into my marches? This is so frustrating. Okay. Master marksman, 516993. Marksman or distance, right? Sixty-eight thousand four four six. Someone else is sending distance. Sixty-eight thousand is not the end of the world, but see how this keeps refreshing over and over and over again. That's super frustrating. Okay, so trying to keep control of this rally, but that's it's tough, as you can see. Um, we'll see if we win this one. I now have 2k more stats plus my um, plus my uh, chalice on this one, so it should be better, especially since I'm getting the right type of troop in here. So now this is looking better. Okay. So this is a good rally right here. Um, he's going to make it. Everybody made it in. It's full distance into infantry. Um, I have not quite enough to heal. What I need to do is heal these troops up and send a march in right after, but it's not quite going to work. And I don't want to spend the gold. Yeah, I'm hoping that this is a better hit. Uh, Vindicus. GOG, impossibly. I don't know quite what you're trying to say there. But uh, again, thanks for everybody for showing up. We're up to 16 people. Um, we are still winning, but not by much. Mega Rally's off. So here goes the Mega Rally. And let's see what happens. Got my little murlocs on there. Let's see how this one hits. I hope we win this one. Yes. Okay. Okay. So activated the mega for this one. So that should help. Defend. So here's the Mega. We killed 3.2. We lost 2.2. Got 2,800 points for the battle. Here's the benefit details. With that extra Vampire, makes a pretty big difference. And now we are about to fill up the center. So we're almost full in the center now. Um, looking at the map, we've only got four points. But we've got the biggest 
point value locations. So having the sepulcher west and east are 2400 points per minute. So that offsets all of their stuff. So one, especially once we occupy the center in two minutes. So it looks like I've got another two minutes until I can heal a chunk of troops. And then maybe I'll run another vampire. Um, so let's see. Wow, new players. Um, I don't know if he's talking about my alliance or what. We, um, we do have a trouble with people listening and reading their chat and their emails um, quite a bit in events, in rallies. Uh, I'm trying to be more strict on my rallies. So, you know, not, not letting people get away with, when I call cavalry and infantry, that's what I want. If anything else comes, I'm sending it home. Even if it's the second strongest player in the Alliance, I want my rallies to be clean. So I'm starting to be more strict on it. And I would rather send a two, a two million troop mega with the right troops than, um, one that has the wrong troops in it. Especially people sending artillery into my megas. Oh my God. That, that it's like, please don't ever do that. Don't ever send artillery into someone's rally. I don't even know why he has so many artillery. He needs to come to another KVK to dump those off and get 300% buff stats. So Vero is over there. Um, Tend is over here. So I think I might send a rally over there after. But I need troops. My troops are hurting. So there's some more troops. I'm going to switch back into my healing set. Start another set of troops, which I want my tier 12s. And back into regular gear. Up to 19 people. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, Ryan, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely everywhere. Um, I personally, so the way I do this, um, I have my max points already. So I don't feel the need to collect in other zones unless we need it, which right now it looks like I'm going to have to take something back from some other people. So here, I'm going to have to send a march here and see if I can take this. Hopefully it's not too full. I see them sending marches in. So now I've got it, and I'm going to... We're going to activate a mega on this one too. All right, so now I'm going to keep that... Um, so here's the report from that one. Smoked this guy. So cavalry versus distance. Cavalry wins, but then my troop attack because the vampire is really good right now. So we definitely need the next vampire. We were super evenly matched before the vampires. Um, but 5 minutes and 35 seconds um, means we're going to have a pretty big lead. So even if they come back to even with us, um, because they get the next vampire, I think our lead is pretty significant. Uh, yeah, and I'm up to 33k, and I've only been collecting in one. I haven't even, honestly, there was a time where I was just sitting here. I didn't have any marches out, because I lost so many troops in the first couple of uh, fights that I couldn't do anything. So they are rallying over here. I already mega that, so they're going to run into a wall there. Let's see. Do we have enough troops over here? So ink fill this. <sighs> okay. Um, don't get have stuff. They get. Yeah. Well. In the first fights before the Vampire, we were really evenly matched. Um, the Megas were going both ways. So I think if they get the second Vampire, it brings us back to pretty even. I think the thing that they have over us is a lot more troops. 
Um, they've got two 3 billion power players, a couple of 2 billion power players. Um, whereas we have a lot, we have more players, but a lot of smaller 1 billion, um, 900 million, stuff like that. So that's the thing that we're kind of using is we have more people. So see how we're, look at all these gathering nodes. We're gathering a lot. And I'm trying not to use a ton of gold. I've already used like 8,000 gold, which for the Darklands rewards. Oh, it was a regular rally. And nobody showed up to it. Why did nobody go to his rally? I bet you he's disappointed with that. I don't know if... Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to ask, how's the sound quality? Because right now... Um, I changed my setup. I'm out in the living room um, with a USB headset into my phone, and I'm just chilling on the couch. So I'm hoping the USB headset has, um, you know, good enough sound quality. Good turnout. One five minutes left. Nice. That's pretty good. Um, you know, anytime you win, it's fun. We've had some where... We just get absolutely killed. And I swear the worst one was, I think this was like three months ago. And I think I was at like 17K cavalry attack. And we went up against a guy that had like 22K. So even though we won all three vampires, we still couldn't beat them. They were just so far above us in stats that 6K troop attack made no difference. All right. Welcome from Canada. So my phone is just buzzing nonstop from all the reinforcements and other things. But right now we're winning by a pretty good chunk. Um, I also don't feel the need to take all of these from them. So the one that actually that I do want back is this one. So they're mega garrisoning this now. Because that's going to make a big difference in points and get them back towards even. I need to see what's in there. They filled it up. So if I have to mega this, it's going to cost me even more gold. And they've got a pretty full, pretty full tower over there. Although it looks like we're just smashing into it. My guy's just smashed into this thing like no regard for human life. Let's scout it again, see if I can get it before this guy lands. I just want to see if they've done enough damage. Um, maybe we can do a regular rally. Save myself some gold. Let's see how that goes. Um, I don't have any troops. I have, like, no troops. So right now it's not full, but they just put more in it. Now they're putting even more. So this probably, I shouldn't do a, a regular rally. I should probably do a mega or else we're just going to sacrifice troops. Or do I even bother? Should I take something easier? I could just take something else from them. It might be easier than doing another mega. Uh, my base stats, I don't actually know. There's so many boosts right now. I think I just barely peaked 20k cavalry stats uh, for, for attack only. Like My health and defense are sad because of... Um, my gems, like they're really sad because of gems. So these other these other areas are really full. They have a lot of troops in those, so I'm gonna have to mega something if I want to take it. And let's see if I even need to. Next vampire. So 
I only have one March slot. This one is crazy. I'm not even going to get in there for a hit. Did we win it? We won it. Okay. So one of the things that we do here um, is we tell our guys, like, I don't care what buildings you're in unless you're, unless you're a leader, port next to the vampire and get as many hits as you can in. We just want hits on the vampire. So we've got people teleporting into the vampire, and then after, they could refill towers. Um, but the vampire is the most important thing if your stats are anywhere near the opposition. So we've got a pretty good lead right now. Um, even though we only have three zones, our points are still higher per minute than theirs. So how much time do I have left on healing? Looks like I can just barely heal that. Let me switch gear, start another set of healing. Which I want more of these and these. Let's heal that six minutes and then let's start another. What are they putting? Oh, the vampire. Okay, three minutes. Mega rally. One, two, three. New guards. We want way less of that. More of this, no chalice. Looks like Pierre is doing a mega as well. What is he megging? He's megging south. He's a distance guy. So I can actually send him distance, which doesn't hurt me too bad. My Mega probably is going to get filled with junk. So send him back. Uh, yes, Darklands coins to get troops back um, much faster. So right now I'm waiting to get this set back and then I'll start another set of healing. But definitely not gold. I'm too cheap to use gold. Even though I'm using gold for Megas, um, I feel that Megas have more value than me just healing troops to solo send. Who else sent infantry in, or artillery into my thing? Like, Okay, get that sorted out. There's more distance in here than I would like, um, but my Mega Rally is getting close to the end. Um, so we'll let it go. So there's two Megas going on at once. We've got um, one of ours going to south, unless he canceled. So he canceled his. I don't know if you get the if you get the gold back when you cancel. Um, I guess we'll find out. Like, well, I'm not going to do it. So does, if anybody knows, do you guys know if you get your gold back if you cancel a mega? Uh, so I, I wouldn't have canceled it. Like we could have filled both. I think. Um, because his is distance, people could use their distance troops for him and then send their cavalry and their infantry to me. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So this mega should be launching in just a second, and then we can watch it and march with it because it's fun. Um, we're up to 20 people. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. Uh, I know this one's random in the middle of the day. I had today off work. Um, have a job interview in about two hours. So, you know, I took the whole day off just to not stress about trying to get home from work to do a job interview and figured I might as well stream Darkland since I'm home. I'm also studying for a certification exam. I'll be taking um, 
Microsoft Azure fundamentals and Azure security. So I've got those two certifications coming up in the next month. So I've been studying for that all day too. All right, so 10 seconds to hit. Let's see if we did how much damage we do with these with this extra vampire. Hopefully we win this. Ooh, we did not win. Okay. And it was bad too. So maybe my new guards aren't as good as I thought they were. Probably because they're under leveled a little bit. Well, under leveled and under starred. It happens. So they tried to mega on us. We got some points for that. Strong enough. Okay, so now what do we do? I don't want to spend more gold. We're still winning. So maybe we just let them have those unless they try and take another. Why not? So we're, we're at 75, 60 a minute and they're at 7,200 a minute. So we are still winning. So I'm going to use some coins here. I need to get into my healing set again. And I want my tier 12 infantry and cav. Which, with the amount of coins I have, I should get those back in three, three minutes or so. Um, they'll meet in the middle at about 8,000 or 9,000. And then I'll be able to speed heal those. Oh, I used um, the two cavalry guards, the new ones. Uh, they're really good against the wolf and some other stuff, but apparently they're not nearly strong enough to be used in megas yet. Not mine anyways. So mine right now are a one star level 72 and two star level 61. So definitely not quite ready. Uh, because I'm not distance, I don't use Blackbeard and, and Jaquette, Jaquette. So they're all level 30 and level 47, even though they're both three star. I just, I don't have enough experience to level all of these characters up right now. So I'm focusing on the two new guards. Uh, I need to get Anne up because she's on my wall right now. Although an Anne and Aramis March is pretty strong. I bet you that could do pretty, pretty decent. So looking at the map, even though they have six territories, we're still winning in points. So we have um, more per minute. And we're also winning a lot of their attacks. So we're getting more points from that. So Vero, because he crushed that mega I just sent, is above me in points. How long do I pay, play per day? Um, I play in the morning on my main and my farms. And I do all of the estate affairs, dailies, burn my stamina, and send them out to gather. And then I go to work. And then... About three hours later, most of the gathering is done and state affairs have refreshed. So I'll pull up my phone while I'm doing some other stuff at work, do my state affairs and some rallies, burn my stamina, set them to gathering and go back to work. And then sometime after lunch, I'll sign back in, set more gathering marches uh, and then somewhere around three o'clock, which is two hours before reset. I'll sign back into all the accounts, um, refresh them in the uh, spirit minds and set another set of gathering. And then I leave it alone until after reset. So I would say all in all, I'm playing throughout the day, probably an hour and a half to two hours. And then from reset, I usually play for about an hour straight from from five to six my time. So that's usually about, about what I'm playing because there's not actually all that much to do other than dailies and stuff. 
And right now I'm, I'm leveling up an account um, as a favor to someone else. So I have a third account playing right now that I normally wouldn't. Uh, and it's been a lot. It's definitely more than I like to do. Um, but after this 50% event, I think it'll be a castle 28 and I'll be done with it. So the next vampire is in four minutes. We are up by 170,000 points and we're at 10,170 a minute to their 8,100. And then gathering is going to be something that increases that. So the silver mines are the best ones. So let's send something to the silver mine. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that because the vampire's coming up. Oh well, I can pull it. So I'm guessing that this next vampire, they're going to put somewhere over here on their side of the map. They're going to put it over here somewhere, and we're all going to have to teleport. So that would be my guess. Just to try and make things uh, more even or whatever needs to be. So that when the mines are up, it's definitely an advantage for us because we have more players. At least I think we had more players. So if everybody's gathering. So we have 21 players. They only have 13. So we definitely have more marches to gather with. So we go way up on points per minute while the gathering is in effect. All right, so Pac-Man, hello from Kentucky, had to stop playing after three years, and 20k was just too much. Oh, man. Well, sorry you had to stop playing. Um, you're just spending too much, or once you once you were into spending, it's hard to go back to not spending. Um, I definitely get that. So I think that when I stop playing, it's not going to be like, oh, I'll just play a little bit as free-to-play and like play here and there. It's like, when I stop playing, it's just going to be a hard stop, um, which will be tough because of the YouTube. Um, in previous games I played, I've, I, I did YouTube, but I didn't have a lot of subscribers and stuff. So I, I don't know how I'll actually phase out of Guns of Glory. I might have to do it in steps, like start playing a second game that I like and start making videos for that and slowly transition over so I don't dump off all of my subscribers and make them mad. Uh, yeah, missing events. Um, even though the rewards aren't great, there's materials in basically everything. I get that too. It's like, it's really hard to, to miss anything um, when you feel like you're missing out on stuff. So let's get another set of healing going. So that's most of my troops in the healing. So I should be able to get those back pretty quickly here. It'll be towards the end. It's most of my tier 11s and some tier 12 distance that I don't actually need right now. But because they have so many zones, they're all getting their points. And I just want everybody to get their points. Like, but we have some people here not getting points. I don't know why they're... They're not in the stuff getting their points. Probably because we only have three and there's not room in them. So if it wasn't, if they didn't have such big stats, um, I think it would be easier to, what did they just take? Uh, so they took west, so we we need this one back. What do they have in there? How did I do basically nothing? Because it's a million troops, but still. 
Oh, there's the vampire. They are pretty close to this one, so they might end up actually getting it. Um, we'll see. Is it dead already? So they got the vampire this time. So now things are a little bit more even. Um, we're still up by nearly 200,000 points. Uh, I need to, if I was going to tell you where I'm at in the mines, I need to refresh my mind so I don't lose a bunch of uh, crystals if you win. Ugh, jeez, you've been playing for a long time through all of the changes. Like, that's crazy. Um, there's so much that's changed, it's just crazy to me. So they're megaing there. Um, at west, are they megaing west also? So if they're not gonna mega, if they're not gonna mega it, I'm just gonna run a regular, a regular rally. Gosh, I can't type today. Okay, so watch the rally. Looking for infantry and cav. People are sending a ton of infantry. I need some more cav to back this up, but if that's what, at least they're following what I said. I really could use some more cavalry in there though. So now I'm kind of disappointed that I'm healing these tier 11 troops. So if I canceled it, how much time is left? 12 minutes. Let's cancel the healing. Uh, I need to switch back to my other gear. And I'm going to start healing the troops I actually want back alive. Which I should be able to just about instantly heal. Okay. And now let's start another set of healing of just these tier 11 cavalry. Let's check on my rally. A million distance in a cavalry and infantry rally. But this time it's not a mega, so I guess if they have high distance stats, it's fine. So Pierre is starting a mega. What are his... Oh, he already had a mega going? Did he do a one minute mega? That's crazy. What did he mega against? I don't even know what he megaed. I'm only doing a regular rally on this, which we're probably going to lose. But I think after that, I'll send a solo march in. Oh, they're actually attacking castles. My guys are bloodthirsty. So we'll see how this goes. It's like a mixed march. Um, at least there's good guards for it since they like the coordination of everybody. But we are still going to win. Even, even though we only have two zones right now, we're still almost even with them at points because of the gathering that's going on. Once the gathering finishes, they'll go up above us, but they have to make up 180,000 points, and I don't think that's going to be easy to do. So last two Darklands, so people, sh so few people showed up. We had one of our players. There's give us buildings so we wouldn't win too fast. Oh, that's rough. Like we've had that happen where I tell people like pull out of the towers, like stop taking them, or else it's going to end and nobody's going to get their points. Um, we used to do that uh, before I adjusted to this new schedule. Um, like it was, it's hard for me to do Darklands. Like if I wasn't at home from work today, I would not be this active in Darklands. I'd be able to do a little bit, but I would not be running megas and seeing what's going on and doing all this stuff. Oh, they mega hit at the last minute. So Vero just got in there and, and popped a mega garrison. So there's that. And that was not a mega rally. It was a regular rally. So Pierre is megaing against what? Against South? Well, 
Why can't I send troops? Why was that so fast? What is... I'm so confused. Well, he took one back. Um, cavalry should have the advantage against distance. So I should... But I, it wasn't a mega rally. So it's using other people's stats. Um, so it uses my stats for my march. But then everybody else is getting their own stats. Um, so... I probably should have sent that as a mega because, like, if Kronos has, he sent a bunch of meat for infantry, but, you know, if his infantry stats are terrible, then it's not going to help much. Um, oh, well, you know, stuff happens. At least I'm calm. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to let these... Now let's speed them up and let's uh, use some more. Let's get some more healing going. So quick select. I want these and these. I don't know if I even have time to get those back. So it ends in eight minutes. So I will actually be able to heal this in four. So in about four minutes left, I should be able to get some more troops back. And... Even though they're ahead in the points per minute, there's no way they can catch up 200,000 points unless they had every single thing from us. Which is not likely. I can't even click this elemental shrine. It won't let me click it. So what is that guy sending a march at? Are they doing a mega? Um, I don't know what they're doing. If they're sending a rally at the south, it looks like her 2.0 is sending a mega at something. I just don't want to spend any more gold. I'm cheap. So let's scout the elemental shrine. Last time I scouted this, there were so many troops in there, even though it's not Omega. The other problem is, is like setting one minute Megas. Um, <sighs> I don't think that we could pull off a real one minute Mega because then there'd be crap like artillery in my Mega, which not good, not good at all. Yeah, they're good at filling up towers, um, forcing megas, because I, I can't attack this um, and beat it with my stats because they have so many troops in there. And I don't have enough troops to just smash at a huge wall like that. So... Yeah, with the center, because they would need two minutes to even cap the center. Which would then give them 11,000 a minute and us 2,000 a minute. But that's only them catching up 8,000 points a minute. So that's only 40k points over five minutes. So I don't think there's... I think even if we gave every single point up, and they were catching up 12,000 points a minute, that would still only be 60k points. So we've got this one in the bag. Um, oh, their big guys didn't even show up. That's, I mean, that's happened to us where they do these time slots. They're in the middle of my workday. There was one where I was like 30 minutes late and I came in and was able to turn stuff around for us, but it was too late. It's like there was nothing they could do. Um, but right now, because I'm in a mostly European group, both time slots are in the middle of my day. There's nothing I can do other than I was moving over to a farm alliance to participate by myself at the time I wanted. But it was just a hassle because I was missing Underworld Gates. I was missing Alliance Crunch. I was missing all kinds of stuff. And it was just it was frustrating to have to go off on my own to do Darkland. So I was just like, well... I'll come and participate and do what I can because I can get my points even if I'm 
working because I just need to mega a building or two and, and go away. And that's usually enough. <clears throat> My voice is getting a little raspy. So after this, um, if anybody has questions or anything they want to see, we can do that real quick. But I don't want to stay too long uh, and talk too much because I do have that job interview this afternoon. So it's um, I don't want to have a raspy voice and uh, have it be raw for my job interview. Like my kingdom definitely has Americans left. Um, and I could go over to that alliance. I wasn't in them previously. We had some issues and I had to leave, but I could go back anytime they've welcomed me back. But for now, it's just, you know, I'm in the alliance I am for, for a reason. And yeah, so it looks like a win. Good win, everybody. Thanks for showing up. Oh, thank you. Um, I actually think that this one's going to be more of a practice interview. I think I'm using them for a practice interview based on some of the reviews I looked at on Glassdoor. Um, unless they've changed something pretty major, they have absolutely horrible health care. Um, I think it was something like if you're by yourself, if you're single, it's good health care. But as soon as you add dependents, it shoots up to like $1,000 a month or something crazy. And it's just, you know, not even worth it. So if that's still the case, they'd have to add in an extra, you know, 100000 or an extra 12000 a year to make up for that. And I doubt that that's going to happen. Let's get some troops back. I don't really have anything that I want to attack. Like attacking any of these big guys is suicide. Um, they're attacking my guys, but like 2.3 billion, 3.1 billion, 1.3 billion. I might be able to attack him. Let's call back from the center and stuff. Let's teleport over here. See what happens. <clears throat> so I lost my whole march. I got more kills than I lost. But he's got really good distance stats. This guy, however you say his name, Glitch, because his name is upside down. It's neat. Okay, so let's do it again. Why not? Chalice, main march, attack. Zero this guy out before the end. Unless they're healing. Oh, my march is coming back this time. See if I finished it. Oh, they ported. They're almost out of troops. <laughs> Let's attack the big guy. Let's see what happens. How many troops does he have? I'm going to say he's got... <sighs> two... Let's go 12 million. Oh, come on. Why didn't he take the hit? Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Here, you're going to take the hit whether you like it or not. Okay, so he's got how many troops? 13 million troops. Pretty good. So Vero got 72,000 points. That's pretty crazy. He was doing really good with the uh, sneaky mega garrisons and stuff and mega rallies. I think he spent way more gold than me, but I spent more than I would like. I think I spent like 12,000 gold for a dark lands and rewards that are just okay. So there's the rewards. Let's go look in the store, but I've bought everything and I have a surplus. So 
So in the store, I've got everything that I need sold out and I still have 37,000 essence. I wish that they would update the store a little bit more frequently. Like I think that this, I hope next time around it has silver dragon crossbow. Um, but they'll probably wait until it's like the next set of gears coming out already. All right. Well, thanks everybody for showing up. Does anybody have any questions, anything they want to know, anything they want to see? Um, I'll share with you guys a little, um, let's see, a troop skills life hack, um, if you will. So let's go look at the troop skills. Now, one of the things I found to maximize your badges, the best thing that you're going to want to do every day is you want to split up your badges among all three types. Now, why is that? Because, for example, when I use, when I upgrade an ability on my infantry, it increases the badge cost for every single time you use a badge. So this normally starts at one, but if I upgrade an ability, it increases the badge cost for every single skill on all across all three tiers for infantry only. Now, that does not affect distance. So distance tier 10, 11, and 12 have their own. So I've done that. So it looks the same right now. That's because I upgraded two abilities in infantry, two, abil two abilities in distance, and I did, I think, three or four abilities on cavalry. And you could tell by, if you look at your tier 10 and one of your, your level zero skills, normally these are one badge. So I upgraded three times for cavalry because every upgrade you do increases the badge count by one. So I will be doing a video on this um, later on, but I'm just kind of sharing it in live stream so people get some advanced knowledge for showing up and hanging out with me live or watching this back after. So yeah, to maximize your badges, um, split it across all three and you know do one or two upgrades on each type and spread it out because eventually you're going to want to have all of your abilities maxed out. Um, in case things changed, you're going to want, you know, all of the abilities for like, if, you, if it's not a mega rally in your setting, like you want your troops to be stronger. Um, but I did find out that if it is a mega rally, it sends all of your troop skills from the mega rally leader down to the rest. So it doesn't matter. Um, if you're just a support, and you're not leading mega rallies, your troop skills don't matter. It only matters for if you're leading something or if you're doing solo attacks or, you know, if you're on defense. Um, so if your castle is built just to be a support for KVK and other events, um, troop skills aren't that important to you. But if you like to go out and fight in solo events like UAC, Kingdom Raid, or if you're a mega rally leader, definitely want to focus on your troop skills and... Get as much as you can out of the badges. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate the support. Remember to like and subscribe. We're going to be doing the subscriber push to try and get to 2,000. So tell your friends. All right, see you in the next video.